Now we ask you about us in prayer and meditations. Elder Wilder shall lead us in prayer. Father God, the great creator of heaven and earth, Lord God Almighty, come before thee once more, Lord. Thank thee for your goodness. Thank thee for your mercy. Thank thee for your loving kindness that thou showed toward the human family. Lord God Almighty, we also want to thank you for our, your servant and apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Lord, we pray that thou will continue to bless him, heal him, Lord God Almighty, build him up, strengthen him, Lord God, that he may continue to hold your word in the mighty name of Jesus. We also ask you that we would bless our assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel. Strengthen him, Lord God Almighty, as he come forth to speak thy eternal word. That some on his heart that is in darkness might hear your word and to leave your word and to turn from darkness to light, Hallelujah. from the power of Satan unto God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, we pray for this choir as they sing the songs of Zion. That some on his heart might hear the song, Lord God Almighty, and turn in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the flick, we pray for the sick. One that is scattered abroad throughout the whole entire world, that thou might heal and deliver. Bring them out of darkness, Lord, into this great and wonderful, marvelous light. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray for the one that is in various institutions, in the jails, Lord, in the hospital, that thou might heal and deliver them, Lord God Almighty, to allow them to hear your word. Turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto God Almighty. Continue to bless your people, Lord God Almighty. Build them up, give them strength, Lord God Almighty, that they might continue in your word and believe your word, Lord God Almighty. And we thank thee, we honor thee, we give your name the honor and the glory. These blessings we are asking according to your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Friends and neighbors, you are tuned to the Bible, to gospel radio service coming to you. From the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith, Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noon day. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now select from the Holy Temple Radio Choir, dedicated to our realists entitled, After a While It Will All Be Over. Hallelujah. Oh, the road is rough and rocky, and the hills are hard to climb. Your bosom friends forsake you, God will fix it and after a while, after a while.
friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible True Gospel Radio Service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here to Headquarters Temple, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church, located as follows. Headquarters, New York City, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Overseer, Bishop Melvin Samuel, Sister. Washington, D.C., 2635 Martin Luther King, Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor, Minister Thomas, Norwalk, Sister. Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Elkin Street on the corner, Capitol Cell and Elkin Street. Elder Lee Taylor, Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Douglas Robinson, Pastor, Minister Mark Woodlock, Assistant. Gloucester, Virginia, Route 17, near the White Marsh Shopping Center. Elder Robert William in charge, Minister Ernest Page, Assistant. Evergreen, North Carolina, 10362 Old Lamington Road, near the Leonard Cross Road. Elder Samuel Wilder, Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina. Wilson, North Carolina, 48th North Penn Street, Bishop Green, Pastor. Elder Douglas Robinson, assistant. Columbia, South Carolina, 5800 North Main Street. Bishop Melvin Simon, Pastor Bishop Randy Mack, assistant. Yamasee, South Carolina, number two, Wall Street on the Highway 17. In the Yamasee Business District, Bishop Willie Bleach, Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, Bishop Curtis Ford, 107 Watley Avenue. Bishop Curtis Ford, Pastor. Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road, Bishop Samuel Wilk, Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Albert and Lafayette, Elder Philip Boston, Pastor. Camden, Florida, 2385 Country Drive, Bishop Green, Pastor. Atkin Deacon Charles Jones, in charge. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddy Stone Avenue, Unit 23. Located near Jane French, Bishop Carl Noah, Pastor. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church, the next voice you hear, Bishop Melvin Samuel. Amen. Let the church say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Truly indeed again tonight, we are bound to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who we praise and honor him from the depths of our heart. For all his great, his marvelous work, he have wrought towards us, his people. We do honor our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle Bishop Belton Green. We do honor him. We thank him. Up on our 58th national, international radio broadcast, we thank God for Bishop Green. We, we want to give God a hand clap for him. And the late Apostle Bishop Randolph Goodwin, before all, them, all my musicians walk away, I want to dedicate this song to Bishop Belton Green and our late Apostle who gone on to sleep, Bishop Randolph Goodwin, because it was true, him, God, we hear so many testifying how God have used these men to brought them to the knowledge of the truth. And we are very happy. We felt led. We want to thank God for you, Bishop Green. Thank God for the wonderful work he allow God to do by it. When I heard him, when I heard of the Holy Temple Church, I heard him praying on the broadcast. And the word of God said, give honor to those who honor is due. And I'm going to ask the choir to help me out. And you who know this song, because that's how we came here. I hear Ella Taylor testifying strong how we came here. I can do the same thing. And the song is, the word brought me here. The word. 
the word, word of God, brought to him. Word, the word, the word, the word of God, the word. The word, the word, I know the word of God, God, the word, the word, the word, the word of God, God, the word. The word, the word, the word, the word of God, God, oh, the word, the word, the word, the word of God. Let the church to praise the Lord. I'm not going to be high minded and forget how I got here. So he led them forth. Some people get out there and get so lifted up. They get so high minded. They forgot how they come to the knowledge of the truth. But I'm saying a blessing to remember 
How you came to the knowledge of the truth. That word. God say he sent his word. Yes. You know God sent his word and Praise delivered God. it. God is a way maker. Thank God for these men of God. Who labor so faithfully. Many times you hear Bishop Green testimony. And while they were praying and putting up the mic. The devil, the devil said, don't put it up. But he put it up anyhow. Why? Because he have faith. And faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. So he never stopped. Him and the late Bishop Randolph Goodwin. They gone on to sleep. But I thank God how God used these men. And as I sit here. Listen to Elder Taylor coming from Norfolk, testifying how the word. Elder Taylor said the word. He not ashamed to tell it. You know, when God deliver you, you're not ashamed to tell how you got delivered. You're not ashamed to tell, I can tell creation. I'm not ashamed now. My God, I tell it everywhere I go. They said, tell it on the busy street. Yes. Tell everybody you meet. I'm not ashamed to tell you now. Yeah, God, you don't have to bother me, but I will tell you. My God, bother me or not, I'm still going to tell you. My God, so we thank God for blessing us. Uh, another year of our, another year of our 58th national and international Radar broadcast. That's how I came by way of radar. The Lord blessed me to hear the man of God by way of radar in 1974. My God, I was 20 years old. But the word of God said he led him forth. Yes. Ah, you are blessed when God leads you. I'm blessed. My God. God, I'm not ashamed. I'm blessed to be led forth by the right way. I was 21 when I got here. Heard him at 20. I got in the island of Jamaica. I used to be a ball player. Studying to go to study in Canadian Radio College. My God, Lord. You know, saying, I'm going to give God a hand clap for myself. And, and nobody better don't bother me. Don't bother me now. I'm telling you, don't bother me. I have a lot to praise God. Don't you bother me. Step aside. If you don't want to praise God, step. at the age of 20, the Lord blessed me to hear the man of God by way of radio. My God, my God. Studying to go to Canadian Radio College. He used to be a Paul player. But I can say like the Apostle Paul. What thing was gained to me? You know I count it lost. My God I give it up. Heard Bishop Green praying on the radio. Bishop Goodwin preaching. Don't care where you're born, raised. You can't get away from this. My God I'm so glad when I humble myself. I'm so glad. The greatest thing is when you can humble yourself Praise to God. God. Don't fight it. Amen. Don't fight it. All you better do is humble. Humble yourself yes. under the mighty hands of God. And he will exalt you. He will exalt you. In due time. He said, This is the condemnation. Yes. Yes. Light is coming, coming into the world. Into the world. Men love darkness. Some people so wrapped up in darkness, they can't break loose. But I'm so glad when I break loose from darkness, give up my sport and my cricket game, leave my ball for a friend who whips, teach him how to play the game. Came all the way to New York, said, You mean Clive, you're leaving us? I said, Yes, I'm leaving. No longer. What thing was gained to me? I count it lost. I count all. I threw away my bats. I threw away my ball. 
my God. And I say, I'm going Christ's way the rest of my life. You got to have a well made up mind yeah. to follow. You can't follow everything. But it's a follow of the righteousness. My God, the Lord bless me to give up everything. Tell my friend never when I'm 65 years old, I'm still in the ricky. He come looking for me. You ain't 65, I said. What happened to you? My God, I said, uh, uh, I, I don't, I make a change. I make a change. I make a change. Saints, you know, it's a blessing to be delivered. One of the greatest blessings is to be delivered. Oh, yes. Apostle Paul said those things which was gained to me. You're going to gain a lot out there. But when you can give it up yes. and say no longer. No longer. What's the matter with you? I, 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 I'm giving up for Christ. I'm going to be, I want to be delivered. You tell your best friend, I want to be delivered. You're going to gain a lot out there. The enemy going to offer you a lot to keep you out there. But by God, if you can just break loose, I believe somebody can break loose. For the past two Sunday, I see four people got baptized. It made my heart rejoice to see people giving up. I'm telling you, you are blessed. You are blessed. When you have a mind to get live, you say no longer. He said, you're going to gain a lot out there now. The enemy is going to come and give you a lot. So I got to, to, to hold on to you. But you got, you got to have a mind to say no longer. Praise God. What's the matter, sir? No longer. What Peter say? First Peter. My God. Chapter 4 and 1. Yes. is a lot of things you're going to gain. I admit, I'm not going to, I wouldn't lie to you again. I'm naturally speaking. But oh, when it come to my soul, I say, Lord, if I have to give it up, I give it up. Say, so what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? That thing that you're holding on to, does it worth losing your soul for? My God, listen what the words. First Peter chapter 4. And 1. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. He suffered in the flesh. Arm yourself don't think you're going to follow God and don't suffer something. He suffered for yes, us in the flesh. In the flesh. Arm yourself likewise. Arm yourself likewise. With the same mind. You got to have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. With the same mind. Has suffer in the flesh has ceased from My sin. God, if I got to suffer. I got to suffer. My God, I got to cease. Yes, cease Can you imagine sin. at a young age? 20, 21, I said, I want to cease. I want to stop it. I want he that have suffered mm -hmm. in the flesh. In the flesh. Has ceased from sin. Cease? Ceased. You know, when, when you cease, that means you stop it. That's it. Two country at war and they say we have a ceasefire. You don't go out and expect people firing at you. You stop. Man. So it is when you come to Christ. Have sin. Have sin from sin. From sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time. What's the matter with you? I cease. What's going on in your life? Do you hear us say I'm ceased? Yes, cease from that sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh. All right. To the lust of All men. of you out there in Raider Land. Listen to this radio broadcast. The greatest victory, the greatest blessing. I'm not on the dance hall no more. I don't cease. You know, I hear somebody, I think on the tail, one of them said, yeah, one of them said they haven't been to a false church no longer. No longer. What's the matter with you? I cease. Read it, sir. Cease from sin. Do you hear what I say? I cease. 
No more nightclub. No more party room. Yes. I see. I see. I don't see. I don't believe that. Way behind. I see. From sin. My God, those fellows used to say, come on, man. Clive, one more time. Let's go, Marley. We want to hear about Marley. I said, no longer. Goodbye. But Marley? Bob Marley? No longer. Goodbye. My God, Peter, touch all of you. Goodbye. They come to my door knocking. Clive, what's the matter with you? I give it up. I give it up. Read it for me, sir. Now you see her seat from sin. Do you hear what I said? It's a place when you can walk and tell your friend, no longer. I don't do it no more. Amen. Do you hear what I said? No longer. I don't flush it in the toilet. I flush that thing. I flush that old bad habit. I don't have that habit no more. My God, what's the matter? I sin. From sin. What a blessing to be delivered. Why you think you see me in here running and shouting and jumping? Because I'm delivered. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Do you hear us say, I'm new? I cease. I cease from sin that he no longer. What about cease you don't understand? I don't do it no longer. That he no longer. So the rest of his time in the flesh. In the flesh. To the lust of men. I'm not going out there now with all those old habits. I break it apart. I, I cease from it yes. to the lust of men. But to the will of God. I, I'm living, I'm living this, to the will of God now. My God, I'm not doing the old th things I used to do. I don't do it no more. It's a great change since I were born. Read on. For the time pass of our life may suffice us. Yes. To have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Read on. When we walk in life's service. My lust. God, I'm not walking that road. My saints, you know, it's a blessing to be, to be, to, to be delivered. Oh, yes. You, I don't blame you for coming here shouting. That's why I allow you to shout. I allow you to praise God. It is a great deliverance. If God deliver me, why should I be bound? Read on. For the time pass of our life may suffice us. Yes. To have wrought the will of Gentiles. Read on. When we walk in lasciviousness. Yes. yes. Excess of wine. Read on. Reveling, banqueting, and abominable idolatry. Read on. When they think it's strange, strange that you run out with them to the same excess of wine. Read on. Excess of right. Re yes. Speaking evil of you. Read on. Who shall give an account to him my, that is ready to judge the and dead? God, what a blessing to be. Saints, I'm saying it's a blessing to be delivered. Oh, yes. Don't let nobody lie to you. One of your greatest blessings is when you be delivered That's and it. cease from sin. You better get me in Romans chapter, Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. What a blessing. What a blessing. My God, somebody say, I'm running for my life. What's the matter with you now? I'm running for my life. If you don't go, don't handle me. I'm out here running for my life. I'm on the back of field for my Lord. If I die fighting, it's no disgrace. I enjoy fighting the good fight of faith. Oh, yes. Read on. Romans 10 and 1. Yes, sir. Brother, in my heart, desire and prayer to God for Israel. A prayer to God for Israel. That they might be saved. That is our prayer. I want when you get delivered, you want to see others get delivered. That they might be saved. Well, I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to you knowledge. You know, a lot of people out there have a lot of zeal. Oh, yes, but not according they to knowledge. They have a lot of zeal, but not according. Not according to knowledge. They have a lot of zeal. They have a lot of zeal. Oh, yes, but not according to knowledge. They don't have the knowledge of God. Read on. For they be ignorant of God righteousness. Ignorant of God righteousness. They're going about to establish their own righteousness. You can't establish anything for God. That's it. It's going to be like what God said. That's it. 
people going around. That's why Paul tell them over there in Titus 1. And verse 1, Paul said, shut it down. You know, Paul shut them down. Yes. Titus 1 and 1. Paul is serving a God. Read on. In a past of Jesus Christ according to the faith of God's elect. Read on. And the acknowledging of the truth. In order for you to be delivered, you got to acknowledge come the on, truth. Come on, which is you got to fight the truth. When I heard the man of God by radio, I acknowledged that I need help. You can't be stout hearted and going up against the truth. You got to acknowledge. Knowledge of the truth. Read on. Which is after godliness. You got to do it after godliness. In hope of eternal life. Read on. Which God that cannot lie promise. It's impossible for God to lie. That's it, Bishop. Which God. That cannot lie promise before the world began. God that cannot lie. Praise God. Promise. Before the world began but has in due time. Have in due time. Manifest his word through preaching. Read on. Which was committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. Yes. To Titus, my own son. I thought you were writing. Mm -hmm. To Titus. My own son after the common faith. After the common faith. Grace. Grace. Mercy and peace. I and God. from God the Father. You, know, you got to hold this thing tight. From God the Father. And the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Go to the second chapter. Let me pick it up and go. But speak thou the thing which becomes sound doctrine. That's what I want. If it don't sound, don't speak it. That's why so many of you out there just waiting to catch an error in my preaching. My God, and you know you can't do it. I dare them to do it. Because everything I get up with is be the things that be good to come sound there. I know you're out there laying and wait to deceive, but I dare you to get, get the, 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 But speak down, the which becomes sound doctrine. Huh? Becomes sound doctrine. You got to have it so sound. That's it, Bishop. But have it so sound. So they never do. They better don't rise up. But speak now. The language becomes sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. That the age man be so. My God, it so he have it so sound till he stopped the angel. Yeah, that's right. Paul wasn't playing now. We we'll go on back there to to Titus chapter one and verse one. Paul is serving of God. Read on. And apostle of Jesus Christ according to the faith of God's elect. Read on. And the acknowledging of the truth. You got to be willing to acknowledge the truth. Yeah, which is Don't after fight the truth. You can't fight the truth and win. Well, read on. Which is after godliness. Yes. In hope of eternal life. Read on. Which God that cannot lie promised. He promised. Before the world began. My God before men walk the face of the God. earth. But has in due time. Yes. Manifest his word through preaching. Through preaching. Which is committed unto me. Read on. According to the commandment of God our Savior. Yes. To Titus my own son. My God you were right in yes. Titus. My own son. After the common faith. Common faith. Grace. Grace. Mercy and peace. Mercy and peace. From God the Father. From God the Father. Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Read on. For this cause I left thee in Crete. Yes. That thou should set in order. My God, if it's not, that's a preacher job. Everywhere he go, if it's not in order, he's going to set it in order. My God, I was sitting here and I was thinking when I went to current. Oh, yes, I did. Me and my son, my wife, we went over there to current. My God, we went over there to a different place, uh, Athens. We went to Athens. We went to Mars Hill. My God, we, Paul says he stood, he stood certain there in the midst of it. But I stood in the midst, see, they're putting out a strange little cup and everything, strange doctrine. But I went and preached Christ unto them. Say, you bring some strange thing unto us. What I'm saying, if it's not in order, the preacher job is to so set it in order. Yeah. Don't, don't go there and make a fear show in the flesh now to make yourself, uh, you know, to be something that you're not. 
You go there and set things in order. That's right. Read on. For this cause, read on. I let the increase that I should set in order. Everywhere, man, everywhere I've been to Bishop Goodwin, with Bishop Goodwin in so many places, Africa, everywhere, he baptized over almost 500. But when he leave, he set it in order. That's it. Oh, yes. That's a preacher job. Not to vaunt yourself. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't follow the ones them who are after the flesh. They're just in the flesh. Uh, to pick up that for me. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 11. So many out there just vaunting themselves. What they're doing? Making a fear show in the flesh. They don't want to suffer. Galatians chapter 6 verse 11. Read on. Galatians. Ain't no time for you to Vaunt yourself in the no, flesh. Sir. It's time to follow after righteousness. Amen. Read on Galatians 6 verse 11. Ye see how large a letter Lord, I have written unto you. Read on. With my own hand. Read on. And as many as desire to make a fair show. That's what the people are doing. They're just out there making the a fair show. In the flesh. And the, all they're out there doing is making a fair show in the flesh. They constrain you Read on. to be circumcised. Read on. Only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. For the cross of Christ. Praise God. Only lest. They should, they're not, they don't want to suffer. They're not going to suffer. They're going to bring something to offset you. Right. But a man of God is going to bring the gospel. Going back to get where you left off there. In, in one, where we were before. The Titus 1 and 11. Let's narrow it down. Amen. There. Praise God. Titus. Titus 1 and 11. Yes. Yes. Whose mouth must be stopped. That's it. You got to stop them. You hear what I'm saying? You got to stop them out. Amen. You got. Whose mouth must be stopped. Must. You got to stop them out. Yes. Stop them. Must be stopped. Must. Be stopped. Be stopped. And subvert whole houses. If you don't stop them, they subvert. They can choose everybody. Oh, yes. Whole houses. Teaching things which they ought not. Do you hear what they say? Teaching things. They just shut it down. Stop them out. I don't care where I meet them. If I meet them on the corner, I will stop them out. Whose mouth must be stopped. Your mouth got to be stopped. How are you going to stop it? With the word of God. That's it, Bishop. Speaking that will become sound doctrine. Yes. Stop it with sound doctrine. Whose mouth must be stopped. Your mouth got to be stopped. My God, it must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses. If you not stop, you subvert a whole house. Teaching things that they ought not. Do you hear what I said? Teaching things which they ought so not. So what you going to do? Stop it. Come on, Bishop. Stop it in Norfolk, oh, Elder yeah. Taylor. Stop it there, Elder Wilder, in Evergreen. Elder Boston, stop it in Jacksonville. Everywhere you go, put your feet on the head. My God. God, my God, those, those, those King Joshua Taylor's men put your feet on the head. Stop them. Stop it. Yes. Read on. Teaching thing which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Filthy lucre, money filthy gaining. My God, but Apostle Paul, he didn't play with them. Galatians chapter 1, whose mouth, you better stop it. If we don't stop it, it's going to rise up right underneath you. My God, evil communication corrupt good manners. You better stop it. If you let it go, it's going to corrupt you. Oh, yes. Everywhere I go, I stop it. I'm not afraid. Everywhere I go and I see them rise up, I stop it. Creeping and aware. They come right in and aware. Read on. Galatians chapter 1 verse. Uh, go to verse 6. I marvel. A marvel. That you're so soon removed from him that called you My. into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Read on. Which is not another. Which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. Do you hear what the word of God said? You have a lot of troublemakers out there and they will creep in and pervert. 
Yes, the gospel of Christ. The gospel of Christ. But though we are angel from heaven, though we are angel, I'm preach any other gospel. I'm warning you, saints. Watch, God, hey, the light turn on, turn the light and not devil. My God, watch thou in all things that pervert the gospel of Christ. Read on. But though we are angel from heaven, I don't care and profess that there is an angel. I don't care if they come in the form of an angel. Preach any other gospel unto you. I don't you. care if they come in the form yes. of an angel. And preach Lord. any other gospel. If Paul went further and said they have a form yes, right. of godliness. Yes. You use a bill of and you put up the form to pour the concrete. Yes, right. but, and you let it set. But that form is not the real. That's it. So you knock it away after a while. And the real thing get hard. Stealing it. That's how you got to be with these false spirits. They have a farm. You put the farm around them, but they're not the real thing. After a while, you got to knock it away. My God, I thank God for the truth of the gospel. Read on. Oh, we are angel from heaven. I don't care if they come profess. That's why you got to watch those spirits. Did not that uh, the, the, did not that, that, that prophet lie to God man? God man came out and he speak and prophets and uh, against the altar the altar fell, broke apart. The man uh, the king grabbed a hold of but his hand was withered. And then after a while, the old prophet disobeyed. The other prophet there went. I don't have time to read it, but you know it's Bible. Don't bother me. It's, in, it's, in, it's, it's, it's over there in 1 Kings 13 and 1. But he went after him. When, the, when his son told him what was done, he wanted to went after him. That's why he said, believe not every spirit, but do what? Try the spirit. Don't believe everything that come and say, Lord, Lord, Lord. Put the test on it. Don't believe every spirit. Try the spirit. So here he went on up. The man prophesied according to the word of the Lord as he was instructed. But God tell him, don't go the way you came from. A disobedient spirit will cause you to get in trouble with God. Don't return the way you came. And don't go back that way. Don't eat or drink. But the son went and told him all what happened to the man of God, what he prophesied. He went. He said, Sagamas, I'm going after him. Then when he, when, he, when he caught up with him, he questioned him. You don't see somewhere in the Bible? It, it, it's in 13. I know. He said, art thou the man of God? Yes, and he said that he came went, from that. What is it? And he went out. He went and give found them chapter and verses. Is is First Kings chapter thirteen? All right. And what verse? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. First Kings thirteen. I'm one. 13 and 13. The reason why I'm showing this, you can't believe everything. Come and say, Lord, 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 Jesus, Jesus. You better, you better put the test on it. First Kings 13, 13. He said unto his son. Yes. Saddle me an ass. Saddle me an ass. So they saddled him the ass and he rode thereon. He read on. And went after the man of God. Oh, he went out a man of God. Went after the man he of God. He started out a man of God. Yes. That's what he said in the beginning. He said there come a old man of God. There come a man of God. The man of God out of Judea. Out of Judah. By the word of the Lord unto Bethel. God was speaking to him. Praise God. Unto Bethel. Yes. And Bethel and Jerobam stood by the altar to burn incense. Yes. And he cried against the altar. The man of God cried against the altar. In the word of the Lord, he Re said, Read on. Oh, altar, altar. Altar, altar. 
this said, thus said the Lord. Read on. Behold, a child shall be born. Read on. In the house of David. Read on. Jo Josiah by name. Read on. Quick. And upon thee shall he suffer. Read on. Offer, offer the priests of the high place. Read on. And burn incense upon thee. Read on. And the man bones shall be burnt upon thee. Read on. And he gave a sign unto Gave a sign uh, yes. the same day. Saying, same, saying. This is the sign which the Lord has spoken. Read on. Behold, the altar shall be rent. Read on. And the ashes shall be poured uh, pour, uh, pour, uh, uh, pour pour, uh, upon the, it shall be poured out. Read on. And it came to pass. It came to pass. When the king drove them, heard the saying. Read on. Of the man of God. Yes. Which cried against the altar. Read on. There, that he put forth his hand. You better watch how you put forth your hand and God, man. On the altar, saying, I'm warning a lot of you in here, out of here. Watch how you put forth your mouth against God, man. I'm warning people how people are losing fear of God. He's a man just like me. He's a woman just But you better watch how you put oh, forth yes. your mouth against God, man. Why do I have Say. to warn the people? You better watch how you put forth your mouth against God, man, out there. Read on! It came to pass when the king of Job heard the saying of the man of God. Yes. Which cried against the altar of Bethel. Yes. That he put forth his hands. Put forth from his the altar. From the altar. Saying, let hold. Lay hold. Lay hold. On him. Read on. And his hand which he put forth against him dried up. God dried a man hand up. Yes, so they he was could not king. pull it. So he, they could not pull it again to him. People better watch how you they treat God, man. Watch how you treat Bishop Green in here. God is not unrighteous to forget his works. All his labor, all his suffering, you like a lifted up flesh. Come along and lift yourself up. One place he asks him, what you do? Were you not afraid? Read on. Close yes. up. Yes. The altar also was rent. It was rent. And the ashes poured out from the altar according to the sign. Read on. The man that God had given. Don't worry. The word of don't the worry about me. I don't care what you do to me, what you say about me. I know God going to stand by me. When a man will please the Lord, he may give the enemy be at peace. Read on. And the but king answered and said, I'm just warning you, watch how you treat these men. They have been pillar in the Lord for years. Praise Read God. on. Yes, and the king answered and said unto the man of God. Yes. Entreat now the, the face of the Lord. The same man that he stretched forth his hand again to her. That's the same man he have to beg back for mercy. Read on. Thy God and pray for me. Pray for me. That my hand may be restored. Otherwise, I don't, again. I don't want to walk around with a wither hand. Ask God to straighten it out. Restore me again. Read on. And the man of God besought the Lord. Besought the Lord. And the king hand was restored him again. Read on. And he became as it was before. Read on. And the king said unto the man of God. Come, Yet come. Come home with me. Come home with me. Refresh thyself. Refresh thyself. And I will give thee a reward. I'm going to give you a reward. And the man of God said unto the king. Yes. If thou would give me half of thy house. Half of thy I house. I will not go in with thee. I will not. You see, you sometimes you can pass the first test. But the next test is going to come at you. He passed the first test. Yeah, I, will I will not, not come in with thee. I will not go in with thee. Yes. Neither will I eat bread, bread okay. not. Why? Drink water. Why? This place. For so was I, ch it charged me. It was, cha it was commanded. It was charged me by God the word of the Lord. God charged him by the word of the Lord. The saying, say, no bread, drink no water. Drink no water. Yes, not nor again by the same way. Don't go back by the same way. Way that thou came. In. Read on. So he went another way. He passed the first test and gone on. But there is a next test coming. Listen to this. Read so on. Went another way. Well, another way. And returned not by the way that he came into Bethel. Read on. Now there dwelt at old there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel. Old prophet. In Bethel. Read on. And his son came and told him all the words that the man of God had done that day. Read on. In Bethel. 
the word which he had spoken unto the king. Rid of them that told also yeah. to their father. Yes. And their father said unto them, What went ye? What went he? What showed me what way he went? And he what? Went. For Rid his, for Rid his son had seen. See, I've seen. Read on. What way the man of God went. Read on quickly. Which Let came finish from Judea. Yes. And he said unto his son, yes. Saddle me an ass. Saddle me an ass. So they saddled him an ass. Read and on. He rolled their arm. Read on. And he went after the man of God and found him sitting under the oak. He so, done done his job. Yes. And, and sat under the oak. Read on. Said unto him. Said unto him. Thou man of God. Read it thou over. Thou man of God. Art thou? Art thou the man of God? Art you the man of God? That came in from Judea. Read on. And he said, I am. My God, he was, I am. And he Re said unto him, come. Come. Come home with me. Come home with me. And eat bread. Read on. And he said, I may not return with thee. Why? Go in with thee. Re Neither will I eat bread nor drink water. Read on. In this place. Read on. But it was said to me you by see, the word of the Lord. He rehearsed it. God charged me. By the word of the Lord. Thou should not eat no bread, eat, nor drink water. Eat, drink no water. Nor turn again to go by the way that thou came. Read on. And he said unto him, I am a prophet. You see how easy the devil can come to upset you? I am a prophet. He said unto him, I am a prophet also. Listen As to this. He said, I am just like you. Praise God. I'm a prophet just like you. As thou art. And the angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord, saying, That's why he said, but that's why John said, Believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. He said, An angel spoken unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, saying Bring him back. Bring him back. Into the house. Read on. That he may eat bread and drink water. Read on, Christ. Like he lied unto him. You see why you can't believe every spirit out there? He lied unto him. Went back with him. Went back with him. And did eat bread in his house. Disobey God's and word. And drink water. And drink water. And it came to pass. It came to pass. As they sat at the table. As they sat at the table. The word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back. That brought him back. And he cried unto the man of God. Cry unto the man of God. God came from Judah. Yes. Saying, thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. For as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord. The same one brought him back pronounced his death. Mm -hmm. You don't disobey the mouth of the Lord. Read on. And has kept and has not kept the commandment. Right. the Lord command thee. All right, you that are out there. Don't stay out there too long. Amen. My God, tomorrow not promised to any one of us. Don't stay out there and disobey God's word. God saying his word, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I'm encouraging you, beloved. Humble yourself under the mighty hands of God. Don't, don't rise up against God's word. Don't disobey God's word. Whatever you do, if I were you, if you hear not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, when they heard this, they were pricking the heart, said unto Peter, to the rest of the apostle, yes. men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Try your best, beloved. Make it right with God. All right. We'll be back next week, Lord willing, the same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718-584-0691. International caller can call us via WhatsApp at 803-518-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you, is our prayer. Oh, yeah.
Amen. Let the church say, praise the Lord again. Can't do a greater thing, saints. Running for your life. That's what we over here doing. We are running for our life. I, God, you can't do a better thing. And when you're running for your life, make your calling. And you got to be sure about it. Make your calling an election sure. Everybody may not sure, but you make your calling. Do your best. Why are you running so hard? I want to be sure. He beloved, as in first, second Peter chapter one and verse and start at verse nine. Oh yeah, it's a lifetime journey. You got to keep on running. Amen. Don't look back. Devil have so many things to try to turn you back. But you got to keep on running for your life. Amen. All right. Second Peter. Yes, sir. Second chapter verse. Se second Peter. Yes, sir. One mm -hmm. and verse nine. But he that lacked these things. My God, you don't want to lack nothing. It's a journey. One place, a thing. Further on down, he said, add to your faith. You got to keep adding. You got to subtracting. In this journey, you got to add. Say, add to who faith? Your faith. Read on there. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. Blind. And cannot see afar off. Read on. And has forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. You don't want to be over here become forgetful. Purge for your old sin. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, yes, give diligent to that, make your calling and your election sure. You hear what he say? Give diligent. You got to be sure to make who calling? Your calling and election sure. An election sure. Well, if you do these things, he said, if something you got to do that keep you preserved. Sometimes people looking at everyone else, looking at this one else. But Paul said, examine who? Yourself. Say you did have run well, but who hinder you? Mm -hmm. But he beloved. Building up yourself. What is he we Read on. But he that lacked these things is blind and cannot see afar off. Read on. And has forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. You don't want to forget where he brought you from. I don't never want to forget Come on, where he brought me from. Somebody from said, look sin. where he brought me from. Brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. Read on. Wherefore the rather, brother, give diligence. That's it. Give diligence. To make your calling and election sure. Make who calling? Your calling and election sure. Do you hear what the man says? Make your calling. And election sure. And election For sure. When you do these things. He said, if you do these things. You should never fall. I know how to bear you up. And hold you up, never fall. That's it, Bishop. Read on. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly. Read on. Into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Read on. Wherefore I would not be negligent to put you always in remembrance. These men of God were some good apostles. Yes. He said, I'm not going to be negligent to put you always, always in, remembrance in remembrance of these things. Of these things. That ye know. That you, though, though we know them, though, though we, he know them. Yes. And be established in the present truth. Read on. Yeah, I thank it me as long as I as I am My in the seven I thank God for these men of God. As long as I'm in this tabernacle. To do what? To stir up your stir you up. They, that's what you they do. They're stirring you up. Put you in remembrance. Yes. Though you want, though you know it, they got to come back and say, Moreover, brethren. Yes, so we thank God for the word of God. Saints, you got to fight. Yes, Paul said, I fought. What, Paul? A good fight. You know, you got to fight this out. There's so many things going to rise up. Oh, yes. So many things waiting to rise up. But I say, like the later pastor, Bishop Randolph. 
Goodwin, he used to demonstrate it so much. Lay on the pew. He said, if you be a fool when I'm gone, don't blame me. I've done my job. That's a man of God. He's going to do all in your power, in his power, uh, endeavor that you may be able after he's gone to continue. A man of God did all in his power. Amen. And Bishop Green kept us in remembrance. My God, he kept us. Not an easy job, but he labored. Fought a good fight. Yes, I he, kept the faith. Is somebody going to keep this? Everybody not going to give it up. The devil is a liar. Oh, yes. Somebody going to back this to the end. Amen. The devil is a liar now. I is. don't care who rise up, what praise rise up. God, somebody going to lay hold. Unto eternal life. Eternal life is involved. Praise God. Somebody going to fight it out. Say, I don't have a mind to draw back. My God, I was preaching. I, all the day I got so happy. And I, I was preaching here a few weeks ago, not too long ago. I still say, I say, I got so happy. I tell God, I say, Lord, I know I want you to bless me. I want you to bless us, Lord. Not for me to baptize, but everyone in me to baptize another thousand souls before you, go, before you finish my ministry. I say, I would love to see a thousand souls got baptized. We is a light day. We went to Africa, hundred something, and me and Bishop Goodwin, hundred something. We go places. This is but a light day. Amen. I'm looking. God, I can do. Oh, uh, let me. Oh, do what Peter. You know, we don't gone that far. All Bishop Goodwin ministry, and the one that baptized and need him, some of the carnal mind might crank up and this. Bishop Goodwin unbaptized a lot more. And Peter, them, them. He, oh yes, don't tell me he haven't done it in his life. He went to Jamaica once, he baptized 75. He went on a 30 day, 75. He went to, we went to Africa with him, 500 and something. We went out he went to Belize. He went over places, just baptizing people. I love to baptize people. I love to see people get baptized the right way. My God, I believe God's going to bless us with a lot more. Don't you get carnal mind and pull up. Come on, Bishop. I get men. I got a man. I three, three, I got a new church coming in with 300 people. I may not make this trip, Elder Bastian. I might send you or maybe Elder. Elder a while and all of you, I need some new faces. Now, you know, you got these young ones around here. They don't want to get their feet wet. Bishop Goodwin have to pull up his socks, put on his pants. Feet get stuck in boat. Some young ones want to teach right in here. But I'm putting you right out there. Me and Ella Taylor went out there. Ella Taylor. Did we went out there, Africa, and just baptize him? He went with Bishop, went with me. You want to sit around here? Oh, I said, you want out. I make sure to put you out. You're going to get your feet wet. Yeah. Sit up in here. Go upstairs in the tarry room. Let's do Bible teaching. Yeah. Last time I want to take them out there. Yeah. I'm sending them out there. They ain't going to have you no time. I'm telling you, you going out here. I dare you to tell me you're not going. You going. God bless you, God. Bless you.